Five Horrible Facts About the Villisca Axe Murders. Number five. The Villisca Axe Murders occurred between June 10th and the morning of June 11th, 1912 in the town of Villisca in southwestern Iowa. The six members of the Moore family and two house guests were found bludgeoned in the Moore residence. All eight victims, including six children, had severe head wounds from the axe. The Moore family consisted of parents Josiah, Sarah, and their four children, Herman, Mary, Arthur, and Paul. On June 10, 1912, Mary Moore invited Ina and Lena Stillinger to spend the night. Number four. That evening, the visiting girls in the Moore family attended the Presbyterian Church. After the program ended at 9.30 p.m., the Moores and the Stillinger sisters walked to the Moores' house, arriving at between 9.45 and 10 p.m. At 7 a.m. the next day, Mary Peckham, the Moores' neighbor, became concerned after she noticed that the Moore family had not come out to do their morning chores. When nobody answered the door, she discovered it was locked. Mary then called Ross Moore, Josiah Moore's brother, over. He, too, received no response. Number three. Ross Moore unlocked the front door with his copy of the house key. He went into the parlor and opened the guest bedroom door where he found Ina and Lena Stillinger's bodies on the bed. Moore immediately told Peckham to call Hank Horton, Basquilla's primary peace officer who arrived shortly thereafter. Horton's search of the house revealed the entire Moore family and the two Stillinger girls had been bludgeoned to death. The murder weapon, an axe belonging to Josiah, was found in the guest bedroom where the Stillinger sisters were found. Number two. that the murder had taken place sometime between midnight and 5 a.m. Investigators found two cigarette butts in the attic, suggesting that the killer slash killers patiently waited in the attic until the household was sound asleep. The killer began in the master bedroom where Josiah and Sarah Moore were sleeping. They used the blade of the axe on Josiah while using the blunt end on the rest of the victims. They proceeded into the children's rooms and bludgeoned Herman, Mary, Arthur, and Paul in the head, and then killed Ina and Lena downstairs. Investigators believed that all the victims except for Lena Stillinger had been asleep when murdered. They thought she had been awake and tried to fight back, as she was found laying crosswise on the bed with a defensive wound on her arm. Today, the house where the murders took place is a tourist attraction. The Vasilla Axe Murder House is open for daytime tours and overnight tours by reservation only. 
Many people believe the house is haunted by the Moore family and the Stillinger sisters, and it has been explored countless times by paranormal experts.